Hello, um, welcome to day two. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to create an animated ringing logo. So let's uh, start by creating an HTML file for day two. Do the HTML. Oops, day two. So in here, we're going to create a div. Uh, we're going to create a ring. And then inside, we're going to put an image. So the image we're going to use is uh, ring.svg. You can view it from here. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, SAS file. In here, I'm going to, this is uh, brackets, what we did last time. I'm going to put a comment here. Brackets, and then down here, I'm going to put another comment as well. Ring animation. Okay. And then, in here we're going to select a uh, ring we're going to give it uh, a width of uh, let's say 100 pixels it, this uh, size is just exaggerated so you can see and then a height 100 pixels background color lime green uh, border radius the radius uh, 50% Posi uh, display of flex just by content center align item center okay now let's save first we need to uh, watch SAS first if you're using SAS save and then we're going to run the file it's here on another page we need to yeah, link the CSS file in here start the CSS okay there, there we go we have the icon and the background okay so now we need to uh, add a pseudo element before and after in here I'm going to let's do before comma uh, after so it's going to they're, they're going to have uh, same styles they're going to have same styles with 150 pixels height 150 pixels background color lime green Position absolute up here. We need to give it a position of relative and uh, content empty strings. And what else do we need here for the radius? Oops, for the radius of uh, fifty percent. Okay. Now let's save. Let's see. Okay, it's not s now we have it. The background color is lime green. It's not supposed to be background color. It's supposed to be a border. We don't need this background color, but instead it's going to be uh, a border. This is going to be one pixel solid lime green. Okay, that's what it looks like now. Now we need to do the. Uh, the animations so let's start by doing the animation okay keyframes I'm going to call it uh, pulse I think I think it makes sense so from 0% at 0% we're going to give it uh, Transform and a scale, a scale of uh, zero point five, and opacity, opacity to zero. Copy this and then fifty percent, opacity one, 
100% opacity to 0 here it's going to be a scale of 1 okay save now we need to okay put animation in here so inside the oops uh before in here we're going to do animation animation and then it's a pulse that's what we named it down here and then we want it to move we wanted animation to play for uh, 1.4 seconds linear infinite save let's see if it's playing yep it's playing now let's do the after okay before copy this change the before to after so but for the after um i'm going to have a, a delay here so 0.4 seconds delay save okay i think it's too it's very fast so we can uh, delay the the time okay let's see 0.4 seconds 0.4 I'll just leave it like this 1.4 seconds Opacity zero, scale one, point five. Yep. I think that makes sense. Okay, now let's do the this icon here. We want it to shake a little bit. So it's the we want to select. Let's give this image a class. Oops. Let's do it after the source logo. Copy, save. So I'm going to select the logo in here. So I'm going to do uh, animation, animation, rotate. So we're going to create a rotate animation. So it's going to be one second, alternate, and infinite. So for this animation, down here, let's create a rotating animation at keyframes. Rotate. All right. So zero percent. Oops, zero percent. We're going to have. Uh, transform rotate uh, minus 10 degrees minus 10 degrees and then copy this oh sorry about that <laughs> I need to put my phone uh, on silent okay and now 140 percent And then we need 60%, 60, and then finally 100%, 100%, so 100 is going to be minus 10, and then minus 10 here, and then here it's going to be uh, minus 15, I think. Let's see how this works. Now save. Let's see. Yeah. I think I think that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one.